Uh, today we continue our task management with uh, some link between the main task and the user interface, and we this covering one of the control is the uh, list box. List box. We know how to use list view, uh, data list view, and now we continue with the list box. Item. Uh, but you need to open your Visual Studio project. Uh, this project is a uh, task management. Uh, this project. Uh, uh, the first exercise we will make two more control for users. It's a uh, One is a phone, and see, I get from the Vietnamese uh, project. Uh, this is a uh, department in our project, and phone. Second one is a email and two test. This test is a take taste one and this test is a this email okay uh, your task your exercise a uh, makes to this uh, new f two fields to display on the data grid beside his name full name department birthday and he is a phone and email uh, my suggestion is before you must uh, okay what's the question uh, okay let's continue uh, we had two new uh, two new fields the phone and email and what one we add it into class user and second uh, add it into this uh, two more column maybe uh, after phone name we have phone and email Uh, this for notification when the head when one event that assigned for this user uh, through this uh, we consider the class user here this previous view and create with to fill is a uh, list a string for phone yes and set <coughs> and also for email And the uh, exercise for you add it into the uh, data grid view. Okay, um, that's one. Now come back into the main form if for event 
and as milk okay mm. uh, as previous project we make uh, a user class to store the information of users now we make a new class to store the event information right click and add new new item here code and class the uh, task <coughs> we have some property for task let's see yes. ID title description from time uh, to time from time beginning and finish mm, let's see is published uh, trims ID says and get and uh, this is a uh, property for class in uh, C sub if come from object oriented programming class so now I will not explain it just right public string title uh. This for class and one more is that we have the rela relationship between user and task. Uh, one user has uh, many tasks and one task can handle by many users. So here we as published a uh, list of user. This user for this. In this task, you can describe some uh, constructor functions, for example, public task, the default, and task, uh, string ID, string title. into this field this uh, ID. ID Be careful, the is name from time is from is the argumentation. This uh, 
four, ten. Um, okay and you can describe more if you want mm -hmm. this for task and about user we have changed same mm -hmm. we list a uh, list of that so we say a list a string oh, sorry click list Okay, some error thing is the private. I'm not sure. Says yes. Okay, it has error here. Let us check. It's violating the task same name with task uh, task. This com the problem come from its name, so let I change it into this uh, test view. Yes. See what happened in user plus plus. plus. 
this task. Yes, and yes. The problem, I guess, it comes from the relationships we have in class of tasks. We have list of user, which is a many to many. So user, we have list of tasks. So it's a confused maybe. So in this time, I delete this. We don't need. We can find. The information from list of user here. In the database, if we had two tables, relation, the relation will be many to many, so it must separate to a third class to cut it and makes it uh, many to one and one to many <coughs> so maybe in this case we make a new class to store it all its errors come from this project config uh, I will check it again but this time we just we need only list user we don't need a list of tasks from users, so this is OK. So just delete the task in user, just class of task is okay. and rename it better. Anyways, I will check it later. This time we don't need. We just uh, this task is okay. Now, uh, here in the interface, let's much more one is is list box this list box will display on the user for this for one of tasks so we name it uh, list box list user From its properties, we set it a some property. Mm. Multi column for and. Um, Select the mob here. We can choose the uh, Monday attendance. Better for selected mob. <coughs> and this uh, list of user can filter from the test box. Test box. Uh, this is a test box name 
3 user search with search by username yeah and when a tie a username in this uh, test box we display on suggestion from list pop easy name is a uh, list user search Let me look better. And from beginning, this uh, list box will visible equal font visible visible font is not displayed. And it just display when the text is changed. So it's a text change from this event is a text change. change. Uh, double click on this or double click on text box. It's okay. So I double click this. And I saw this uh, list users have them. That's visible. Uh, equal to mm. Okay, let's test program. Here we need to say when we type a name with voice voices, it will display on the name in this, and we click on one name, it will bring into this uh, list box the our scenario, scenario, our workflow. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first, we make we need to make a rela uh, connection between man and the users. Let's say in a user event, the yeah, for menu. Let's double click onto it. <coughs> Since it's your local variable, so we cannot access later. So we need. Uh, copy and make is local uh, global now in this before so is we must check uh, if this form user uh, in known uh, This ball. We saw it. Right new user and so. So in the test, user test chance, uh, and I explain again the main interface. Uh, in a test chance, we can access the list of user. Mm, this does form user. 
last list okay informal user blue card we must know this information list of users so we can write a function please get user uh, list return We return list of user from the form of user for another other purpose like this one uh, there you can okay, list user One problem if we access the user in this way when a client uh, close this form, the information will not available. So in this case yeah the list of user must get from this after this from a clause we get list of user to you in this function so let's let's this kind of uh, this file is a local variable, so cannot use later. We must make it global. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, in the test uh, that joins us we will search information um, let's say for this user just equals this user uh, way uh, here as uh, last previous week I uh, explained about link queue we use link queue to uh, to object this is a list select way where is the lambda expression is equal is the uh, username of content then uh, this data of users search test we convert it to list
let's solve it so to the list box Uh, you can show it by this dot this use the search dot this item equals search We can add, add okay. What's there? Just user account. Okay, in this task, we ask the user this uh, its username in back into the at list the list box. Can you do it? Are there any questions? Okay. No. Let's run it. Wait, please. Error, error because we did an is a num exception, so we must init the user. This user. It is in the uh, construction of uh, this form, so it uh, use uh, new user. Let's run again. Yes, no problem here. We must add a user in here. It's the name. Yes, as you can see, it's just display the project name. Here I get project from one of the students. Then I don't have any information. The problem is 
uh, in user class to display information you must override the function right it's a yeah to string in this case I override very simple it is just username a full name yes and then it Okay, this is for example A. Now user, we need to add a user here. This display this username in this uh, box but the pro problem is at um, each time it's at one user it don't care about its username so we must fix it uh, in event test chain before it, we need to uh, clear this this for this is uh, private item and add the new one in this is user the next time when we learn about the database and database connections we will run this, uh, this task for now we just make the memory database Just by my username, I tie it to username. So it's yes. when we didn't tie anything, it's so on. And when we click for one item, double click, it will fill this into this uh, list box. And let's do it. As we said a lot of times, just on 
the control in window programming is handled by on the event handle so it's event here is the event for window so let we check event click click uh, mouse mouse double click when we double click we will form fields into the list of user so let's double click in this event okay as yes. uh, that username because this set up selected uh, selected item we meet to turn it into user and fill it into this uh, list user dot uh, item dot add user and hide the information of list pass this uh, list user search the visible okay let's run it user for fast yeah hey cloud yeah. and I select it double click if you guess and hide the information then this double click and add into this <coughs> uh, okay the next one you will uh, sell practice that's when in create the event we match two column is for any user in this this uh, row you will display a username uh, for user one and comma user two comma two two comma into n. So this is exercise for you add this information into this this part. Uh, you will have fifteen minutes to practice and if you have any question you can ask me. Okay, let's check when we double click on one item is this as uh, user in on sale in here in this so let's check double click list mm -hmm. user you 
So we're doing another way. Jack Rivik, user. user for user in this user as some item okay not available how do we this yep this list user and cast it into user now username mm, equal user username if this we didn't know we just return it return uh, if not we will add it into the list box uh, list user Five one two. If we ask, reverse. It will not do anything because this username also in this this box so is cow. But if add uh, another different user, it will add into this. So your task is just uh, bring all of this into one column user and the exercise. Today I will introduce with you one of uh, the 
different kind of form is the MDI form. Let's add it into the solution and we will add new item and window form is form we use uh, we form you window form here is the normal today uh, we use this kind of the MDI parent form we have us many many uh, a lot of form on of the form in our program so let's add this MDI and I get is the form MDI main uh, from star it has some of the menu and taskbar right here so we don't need all of them so we delete this delete uh, delete Just keep this, and he will rename it. This is a function. In which we have, mm, sorry, rename is. This character is it helps us we have the under line between the first character first uh, character of name it lie in we uh, saw zero when you press alt alt a l t button this highlight is uh, for example if file as A, L, T, and F, it will automatically solve the file menu and the same here. We have a function with uh, F and under underline. So when press uh, on enter case, it will uh, accept this function. So here uh, we have two forms. This is the first is the event create event form. Second, uh, this character and user form. form. No survive between this character and the third letter. Okay, let change is this uh, don't strip. Is the S1 is a task control, task control here, this is task control. I delete this. So 
outside one down. by sorry name that control I change its name it that main is a remove task remove task and add it into this and in doc will on the top and here is the yeah we change the task control in this why okay now in program we start this form first program start this program is the main thread in our program it has the main function this will run the task management here so I will change it into MDI main let's run Let's remove it. Let's see this. MDI form uh, and this is uh, menu. If we click, click uh, on it, is key A L T key equal show is an F U use for user on F and E. Now let's link on the form together. MDI function we have a lot of function bus y let's see it's event No event remain. Let's Let's delete on of this. We don't need this. Just view again. Yeah. 
has the lowest In this, I will try to form first is the uh, F and L man and task manager event form F and L user. And use form okay now let's see when main form click a function voice Double click on this. Okay, is don't care about its name. Just double in this and we compare if this uh, let's change its name. Event form by this uh, event form a noon or this just a dispel. In this case, we create new form. And we add it into this. MDI parent. Uh, this. And then If the form has, so we just have this plus FL event from the select. Okay, let's run. Function event form yes let's equal source event form in this MDI so this form has some menu so it will show here so it's, you could click again so same for user form Double click and use form, use form. I copy this and change its name. Use form. But remember, change on the name here. Let's run.
on screen function user form here user form and here for event form yes we have In event form, it has two menu here. here is file and user for this. So it will display in this menu step. If we close, it also disappear. So it's very interesting function. But in novel, it must display the task by in this. But we will change the kind of display in the tab by like this. So let's change is uh, in MDI see uh, event in the MDI try event MDI. Here, this uh, event activates when one try uh, form is activated. So let's write some function. First check is is the uh, activated MDI sizes the window stay Form. Window state uh, maximize. This MDHI, this form is a sender. Let I check it. Wait a minute. I remember Ron's name is the ACT MDI choice window style it means that the current form on the maximize and let's display its task 
is this does activate active MDI does that num S and we create a task by T M D I M dot test this is the title of the form of the children form T B dot test because this uh, active by M D I try If it does parent of this testman, testman is the test bar that I add and change that bar. Let's run it to see what happened. full screen function event form as you see it had two kind of different first it may maximize full of the form and the title of child form it will display in this task man so if Another form, a user form. Yes, user here and here. Now, when we click, it didn't change, so it also make a new, 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 not use the previous task, so we must change it. Click, close it. So, so stop and we need to add a this task man select it. equal T B This uh, active MHI delta this does uh, active MDHI cloud when handle events from cloud uh, double that right. so with cloud is uh, A sender as form of that as uh, as uh, 
and we dispel it Let's clean again. Right, new function. user form and cloud is mm, yes it has error since we don't have the uh, active form when cloud on so we must check it if this does act the MBI size icon known return it we didn't do anything okay Let's uh, click on functions and event form. Cloud is and create new and create event. And we have now when we click this, it will show the user form and click it, it will show the event form. So let's change it. It didn't change, so we must handle the event when the task main is changed. So let's see the event. As I introduce a lot of time, on of the control on the form must handle beyond the event. The event is different with the event in our program purpose. So let's see a task main and CS event. Uh, it's selected. Selected in that chain. Yeah. Double click. And let's check. Uh, Tab main select it and now tab known if we select it and let's show it
and a form and select okay let's just Let a uh, event form and for user. Now let's change it. Yes. When we click on the tab, it will change the form. That's the uh, purpose. Okay, now is the time for you practice, and if you have a question, you please ask me, I will answer for you.